Yeah, so the, we're into the final trials of the Huddersfield Schoolboys we're doing uh, for the under-13 team. We've, we've done a series of about five trials now. Uh, this is the last one, so we're going to make a selection of a uh, final squad for the season. So we've got all the schools across Kirklees, probably about 15, 16 schools. So they're playing uh, teams like Barnsley, Leeds, Calderdale, Sheffield, Rotherham, Schoolboys. So they're in a, in a competitive league and then they're playing an English Schools Cup as well. It's a great opportunity for them here, great platform to, to be involved in schoolboy football this is the these are the best players outside of academy football that there is in, in this area the, the, the hope is to start it <clears throat> having closer links to the Seal town the to the Seal town foundation start it off and then obviously try and build it up to different age groups like we had because i played for town boys i played in the same um, team as andy booth and, and all, all all these different players that that, that went on to play for the Seal town I think it's a great thing for the local community to try and resurrect. But it's a great opportunity for them to get in, involved, a taste of what it's all about here, training in a facility like this at Canal Side. Um, so yeah, the boys have got an unbelievable opportunity to, 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 to develop as, as young footballers. They're learning about what it takes to be like a young professional footballer, the, the dietary needs which they're going to get support with, the, the, the travelling to and from games, the, the professionalism for training, for the match days, the preparation towards of it. So the lads are going to get a good, good taste of what it's all about and I think it's, it's really good for their development at a younger age to have fun with their friends whilst playing in a competitive environment which gives them exposure to academy teams. The school plays a massive part in it as well um, and it's about, it's about developing the young children into young men um, more than anything. Yeah, football football plays a massive part, yeah. But football, as we know, is universal. It speaks its own language. You get them into this now, hopefully, they get into this now and then it, it stems on, the education becomes better. They become better people and that's what we're hoping to achieve. Support of the local school has been really important. I think like 95% of schools um, got back to us and sent kids. Um, so we've got a broad breadth of uh, of talent across the area. I played schoolboy football many years ago. It's been stopped for many for a number of years, and now it's going again. Luckily, my role at Huddersfield, they've been really supportive of me getting this going again, using this as, as a as a training facility. And I think that we can only make it a really um, enjoyable experience for these young lads who perhaps don't get the opportunity to to, to play at a good level at this age. It stems from home, parents. Hopefully, all the kids that we've got here now, I've got, I've got a steady, steady relationship in regards to the parents and in regards to the peers, etc., and the school. Yeah, so I'd like to thank uh, all the parents, all the schools who've um, been supportive in the whole process. A lot of teachers have sacrificed time to, to attend trials. So a really big thank you to everyone who's been involved uh, up to, to now and, and, and going forwards. Uh, it's really without your support, this program wouldn't exist.